This is the advanced version of a styrofoam print. Kind of advanced, not really. So I'm gonna show you how to transfer any image you want, really trace an image that you want onto your styrofoam plate to print with. So I have a picture of Mona Lisa. It's just a printout from the computer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a transfer technique that is on this video right here. Six ways to transfer, trace, or copy an image. And this way, this is one of the easiest ways that I've found is you just rub pencil on the back of what you wanna trace, like this. Okay, make sure her face has a lot, all right. So I've covered the back in pencil, and now I'm going to just put it over my stone, my stone, put it over my stone, my, I mean, put it over. <laughs> so I've, I've covered the back in pencil, and now I'm gonna place it on my styrofoam sheet and trace it through. So I would recommend taping it at the top so it doesn't move around, but for reasons of this tutorial, I'm just gonna start tracing it. I'll lift it up so you can see what it looks like. So you wanna trace the main parts, like clearly I'm not gonna trace every strand of her hair. It would take a lot of time. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it up so you can see what it looks like. So do you see how it's leaving the pencil on the foam? Okay. Not only that, but it's also indenting your foam, which you want it to do. Okay, so now you have your sketch on there. Now you're gonna trace over it with your pencil, and I'm kind of drawing at an angle, so I'm like not slicing all the way through it, but I want it to indent pretty well, but I do not want it to go all the way through the paper. Let's get her chin. Neck. This is a really fun way to do self portraits. So, also remember that this is going to print upside down. So, if you want to put your initials on there somewhere, you need to put them backwards. Since this is the advanced tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use two colors. So, you're just going to want to put one color on one side other color on the other side and I don't know why I put them at the top I should put them in the middle tip put them in the middle <laughs> you just start rolling your brayer through it or your roller and there you go now watch this oh that's not <laughs> wide enough for this it's okay it's still gonna look awesome I just think I'll do it like this and flip it around yeah and get a little bit more paint on there. Flip it over. Do my other color on this side. Carefully lift it up. Grab your piece of paper you want to print on. I'm just going to flip this over and use this side. Flip it over. Press it. You really don't have to press that hard, but... Oh! <laughs> Try to keep your paper clean. Yeah, that's awesome. And there we have our beautiful print made with our styrofoam from a to-go box. So you can make awesome artwork. And the cool thing is I can make as many of these as I want. You can even try to print double. So let's just see what this looks like. I wanna see if I can get her eyes to work on there. This one's just gonna be a lot lighter. Just kind of a different effect. That one's way better. Okay, so here is the final result. So you can make some awesome artworks with styrofoam plates and you can make as many prints of these as you want. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Have a great day. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you around on YouTube. Bye.